We adopted Peanut from a rescue called Fuzzy Texans in Texas. We had a munchkin cat who we had adopted named Bosco, and I thought that he would like a friend who was on his level, so to speak. Brought Peanut home and she hid, which is pretty normal when you bring a new cat home. When my husband came into the room that night, as soon as she heard his voice, she came out of hiding and she started climbing all over him and rubbing on him and it was just, it was love at first sight for Peanut. My husband's a little perplexed about the whole thing. Um, going into our relationship, he had two dogs and I had three cats. So I was more the cat person, he was more the dog person and I don't think he expected to have a cat pick him. She waits for him to come home at night. As soon as he gets home, she rubs on him and she rolls over and shows him her tummy and smells everything to make sure, you know, she knows where he's been and what he's been doing. And he definitely, you know, he, he takes really good care of her. Uh, Peanut has a lot of eye problems and her dad is the one who does all of her eye drops because she tolerates it a lot better when he does it than when I do it. I can't figure out if Peanut doesn't like me because she doesn't like women or um, because I smell like the other cats, maybe. Peanut does not like the other cats. Bosco, our other munchkin, she will sometimes pick on. Um, Ollie is our youngest cat. She is getting a little more tolerant of him and she will kind of play around him, but in general, she is the alpha cat and she doesn't really want the other cats to bother her or interact with her. Uh, luckily, although she is very fierce, she cannot do a lot of damage because her arms are so short. Um, but she does definitely try to show people who's boss. Occasionally, Peanut will let me pet her. It's very, it's kind of like having a teenager. Like I never really know what I'm gonna get. Um, sometimes she will let me pet her for like a minute or two. She's very clear when she doesn't want me to pet her. She's very clear when I need to stop. I think she is getting nicer over time. I think she's mellowing. Um, when we first brought her home, we had another senior torty cat, Maple, who was not friendly. And I think that Peanut felt um, a little insecure because of that and caused her to sort of lash out at Bosco because he was lower down than her. Not physically, but you know, on the totem pole of the animals in the house. Um, since Peanut's now the alpha cat and she gets to boss everybody else around, I think that is helping her feel better. Some other things we do to make her feel more secure is we make sure to have hiding places and cat trees in different rooms so that she can always get away and feel like she has her own safe space. Um, our youngest, Ollie, is very rambunctious and sometimes Peanut is just really over that whole thing and, and doesn't want to be chased around. Um, we love Peanut very much. I hope that she continues to mellow and let me into her little heart. Um, it would be great if at some point I ranked not as high as daddy, but just like if I was just on the scale of things that she could tolerate, that would be nice.